up, everybody? Hey. I love that. In I love that intro more and more every time. That's sick. What's up, guys? Oh, man. I mean, we got a full house in here today. We got Jimmy T. We got Black Sparrow. We got Ryan Die. We got Loran. We got Black Sparrow. We got Falk. Uh, Bladed Ginger. What's up? What up? Marco. Richard Kasner is always here. PNW fun stuff. I got a lot of cool stuff to show off from him. Uh, hell yeah. Oh, man. What you got going on over there, Ghosty? You looking sophisticated as fuck over there. Actually, man, I was just getting ready to clean my house because my son's coming tomorrow, and I was like, oh, shit. I got alive. <laughs> Be right F back. FTK. Oh, you're good, man. FTK. What's up, Crispy Critter? What up? What up? Man, I uh, got some pretty tight mail calls to go over today, too. Pretty pumped about that. Got a got a sick mail call coming tomorrow. I got the good mail call coming tomorrow. I got the Medford arriving tomorrow. Ooh! My very first Medford. Damn! <laughs> well, other than the ASK, you know what I mean. Like, first... Real Medford. What's up, Brian? Yeah, right now. Ooh, wholesome bastard. The hell's Fuck that? Medford Don. That's tight. That's a big that handle's monstrous. Yeah, it's got a uh what do you call it? One of those spots to start a fire. Oh nice. Hell yeah. That's badass. Yeah. I, I just keep tender behind it. Nice. Yeah. You always got to keep tender, low key. Uh, sure. <laughs> What's up, El Cap? So, what's going on, guys? Oh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. I was trying to see where my son was because he left the garage door open and it's kind of cold. It's <laughs> kind of nippy. Yeah. It's a slow bit. It's a little nippy out here, so I was gonna shut it, but if he's still outside, he won't go back in. <laughs> yeah, just close it. You'll find out if he's out there. <laughs> well, here's hello. So, what you guys do today? It is a bit nipply out. Yes, it is, Falk. Uh... Today, today has been homework and packing orders. What's up, Tactical Terry? I went for a car ride with my mom. And then uh, we were going to get to the top place, but uh, we went to go pull up, and the fucking water main broke outside. And it was oh shit, pretty wicked, actually. So, yeah. God damn I just worked. Wow. That's all I did. Yeah. we today, Thursdays are always Oliver's busiest day with schoolwork, so... Since I homeschool the little munchkin, it, uh, it's my busiest day as well. So, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, so just did that, packed orders. I got some more boxes and stuff going out tomorrow. Um, Brian sent me your pen from County Com Pizza, the green one. Oh, yeah. So I I'll, about I'll, that. I'll send that out. Um, he sent me everybody else's pen too. So I got to send everybody's out with their stuff. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yesterday I got these cool little schnazzy keychains in. Nice. Yeah, yeah, dude, they came out so tight. So that, uh, those came in yesterday along with, I got, uh, I did a little trade with a kid and, uh, I got a worry stone from man cave EDC. It's got Turbo Glow, it's got uh, Black G10, and uh, it's like a natural micarta. But then I threw a little leather lanyard on it with this hyper glow bead that I got. So pretty That's pumped like for it. It's a it's a nice it's a nice worry stone. Oh, what'd you guys carry today? Oh man. Um 
I gotta find it all. Whenever I sit down, I just kind of like dump it in my. Tra I got a tray here and a tray over here, so it's kind of hey, dumping. Hey, it's K triple stack with the Olay Baton Three Pro Max and the Medford Sun. That's what I carry today. Nice, thick boy. As always, it's block nineteen. As always, Dinko. Oh uh, yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, Kone Garius. Hey, Ooh, man. Fucking heat, bro. What about you, Zach? Um, I carried uh before I got my mail call, uh, I carried my Tatcom OTF. Love this damn thing. My manifold from Wade Knife and Tool. Oh, Daddy. Yeah. Uh, I am this thing is getting a lot of uh, a lot of wear and tear, as you can see. <laughs> as it should uh, be. As it should be. I'm getting my keys more and more decked out, uh, Ghosty. Look at that. I got me a green compass now. My little green pen on there. Nice. Got the uh, the leather flight tag from Fight or Flight with the Goon Gear, st Gear Goon stamp. That's sick. Um, and uh, the Pew. And that's, uh, that's it. Nice. I I only left the house for about a half hour, so always yeah. prepared. <laughs> gotta be. Got, gotta be. Uh, let's see here. Ryan Dye got his uh, PM2 Warncliffe. Man, I, that's the first Spider Co. I've really enjoyed was the PM2 Warney. More have come along that I've liked, but I like that PM2 Warncliffe. Or Jay Sheep's foot and a Smith and Wesson 44 Mac. Damn, Ryan, going big as hell shit. yeah. <laughs> trying to trying to fucking punch softballs in people. Hey, you close that it. close that door. It's cold. My uh, the dude I the dude I used to do bodyguard work with uh, used to carry a oh used to carry a python and a shoulder holster on our <laughs> on our gigs. Damn. <laughs> People, uh, people tend to notice when you've got a fucking python strapped to your chest. Hell yeah. Oh, oh man. Chris, we got that mini Adamus. GC93 RAM and a CZP01. Wow. Running late, left the house without a main blade or a light. <laughs> Bless Maris. He's packing for a bear. <laughs> oh, Loco. Hey, what's up, Loco? Me, Loco. Got me uh, some sick patches in today, and I mean that in all of the. Uh, pun that I could because they're from the sick brand. So his stuff is uh his stuff's pretty dope. This is probably the least dark thing that he's done so far. All his other stuff's been super dark, so it reminds me of a uh, pocket sex design. Have you seen his little? Logo? Yeah, he's he's got a little. Yeah, he he yeah, called yeah. he called this one dope sick. Yeah. So, but so yeah. yeah, he's a pretty good. Uh, I got quite a few of his patches now, and uh, I'm working on the artwork for one for him. So, hell what yeah, up, Dang Ross. What's up, Dang Ross? What up, Ross? Did uh did you send that uh, that artwork over, pizza? I did, I did. Everybody likes it. That or, was, uh, uh, I will say that was uh, that was convincing. That was that was a little <laughs> that, that, that that was a little. Ah! No, no, they like it. They like it. Oh man. Oh my. Uh, here, Dang Ross, Crispy. Hey, what's up, Renee? Mr. Renee coming in. What up? Uh, since Brian's here is in watching, um, got a mail call from Brian today. Uh, it's got my smudgy fingerprints all over it because I've been diddling it. 
Uh, this is the Artisan Ahab. I love this damn knife, dude. That's a solid knife. It's honestly, I think, the first folder that I've ever had that had wood scales. I don't yeah, think I I've ever owned another folder with wood scales. Oh, yeah, I got a package from Brian today. <laughs> Back from Brian today. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I got the damn designs. Uh, Brian, which one did you say this was? Because I looked on their website and I can't find anything that looks like this. Beard of Doom. What's up, brother? Oh, Doom. Christopher, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Joe Isabella, what's up? Um, and then I got this one from Brian as well. Uh, it is in bad need of a die job on those scales. But, Can you see uh, that logo real quick? Yeah, I think that's CMB. Yeah, okay. That makes sense then. Like I said, the box is, I think it's still in the house. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yep, that's it. I'll tell you one thing, and this thing is mean as shit looking. And oh, I'm yeah. here for it. They make cool up, Cheeto. Yeah, I hadn't I haven't messed with any of their knives yet. And uh this one, it feels nice. It's got a good it's got a good uh good feel to it so far, so. Buck Sparrow's got his pair of three, his Lynch Pry Cruiser 5 wallet with the fixins. Mitchu plus nine. There you go. There you go. Not packing for bears, just dumbasses. Exactly. What's up, Dr. Drew Dude? Dr. Drew Dude. I just saw that, Dr. Drew Dude. I think he sent me a message. Man, it's so cold out here. My phone is like freezing. So, the reason I'm here. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was trying to find Dr. Drew Dude's message. Oh, you're all good. Uh, yeah. Besides the fact I, I like hanging out with you guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about the Legion. The Legion. Um, you know, you, you, you only have to get naked and wrestle a shaved cub one time. That one is. time. One time. One time. That's the it. only rule. Yep. Sunday morning before church for me. So, yeah. So, the Legion of Chaos. It is... Uh, the Legion. Basically, it's a it's a private group on Instagram. A lot of the people in in chat are in there. You guys are in there. Yep. Um, the idea was to make a corner where we could all share ideas and share posts and stuff away from the meta, you know. So the people that were getting shadow banned and their, their stuff wasn't being seen, could come in there and share their posts and get it out to everybody else, you know? Yeah. So that was the idea, you know, and it's it's grown into something something pretty cool. You know, there's a, a lot of small makers and a few YouTubers in there, and I think we're at almost 80 members now. Yeah, it's a huge yeah. group. Yeah, and it's, so far, we've had zero issues with anybody. Um it's exactly, just, bro. Exactly. We shave dopey. You have to wrestle him naked. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, the other idea is to do exclusive drops and giveaways that only people in the, in the private chat can get, you know, beads, eventually knives, uh, stuff like that. Hell yeah. But yeah, uh, it, it, it's cool. Zach won't invite me. I it's not my call, bro. 
Just gotta, just gotta send me a message, man. Mess, message pizza, damn, bro. Why you gotta put that on me? Don't put that bad juju on me, Ricky Bobby. So there's, there's seven admins right now. So any of them you can message, including Loco. Um, and then basically we just throw it out there and we all deliberate and make sure whoever it is 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 legit. You know, try and keep scammers out. You know, stuff you, like that. You got to keep an eye on that Chris Early dude. He's sketchy. Yeah, he says he's also still not mad. Yeah, it's also cool because there's like not a lot of uh, like there's Monster. banter and stuff over there, but yeah, like uh, you know, it's mostly it's mostly carry. It's mostly stuff that's dropping. It's passing along YouTube channels. It's you yep. know, it's not it's not a lot of not a lot of filler. It's a lot of like legit like information about makers and information on knives and you know it's it's pretty cool so far yeah, yeah and i mean we have all these small makers in here that you're literally chatting with you know if you like something yeah. from dickens and trading post he's in the chat yeah uh, I, 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 I love pouches? what's that doesn't he make bags oh yeah yeah i mean yeah he's he's the guy whose bag we've been showing off for like the last yeah. <laughs> two weeks yeah i want to get one of those <laughs> Man, he told me about one coming out. I don't know how many he's making, but he's going to have to make a lot because I think about three or four of them are going to get sold to the gear goons. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not really a, a bad guy, but his stuff is really cool, um, including the uh, satchel that uh, Loco was walking around with the other day. I don't know if you guys were the, in there. Uh, the, um, the Claymore? Yeah. That's that's the one that uh, I plan on getting. He's he's doing a specific colorway that is near and dear to my heart. Oh, uh, let's see. It's either orange or uh, black multicam. Yes, but not <laughs> orange. Not orange. All right. May have something to do with the overall feel of this chat. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Might have something something to do with a specific colorway that we like over here on this channel. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, Hanking Out? Yeah, so anybody in the chat, if you would like to be a member, message one of us. You know, we'll you know, we'll let, we'll take a look at you, you know. Uh, Lauren, post, Lauren posted up the link for Pizza's uh, Instagram, so um, just hit Pizza up and he'll uh, he'll get you he'll get you in there. Yep. <laughs> Joe said pink. Yep, that's it. Yes, pink. Hey, what's up, Vagabond? But uh, you know we're also doing exclusive giveaways. You know, um, Loco does a few <laughs> you know giveaways here and there on his own channel. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, Carry Development, I don't know if you guys saw this, but Carry Development yeah. uh, made a mix blade just for the group. And that will be given away to a group member. Oh, yeah. In next week or two. So yeah. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped for it. Yeah. <clears throat> if, uh, yeah, if you're in the group, you are eligible to win. You will be entered. And like automatically? Yep, automatically. Oh, that's that's hella badass. As long <laughs> as you are a group member, you're in. You're in. So, Wait. take a look. Do you not know who I am? I don't even know who you are. Who are you? Black Star Designs. Never heard of her. She sounds hideous. <laughs> Try and looking forward to uh. I don't. I don't mess with those colors anymore, Terry. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm not super great with Streamyard. I'm trying to see if I can pull up a picture of the knife. Pink and blue. Uh, yeah. If you if you just hit present, then I can throw it up into the. I'm getting there. I got to remember where the hell it's at. Just mailed out a sick green glow in the dark mammoth coin this morning. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. 
That sounds hot. Oh I'm gosh, a little jealous. Of... That was another thing I got on me is my fight or flight leather work leather coin. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Fight or flight out here just knocking the just knocking the dickens out of people. Yep. Loco, if you are still in the chat, uh message me a picture of that knife. I'm having a hard time finding it. Uh are you looking for the the carry um yeah the carry the development. Yeah. Is it uh which one which one was it that we decided on? It's the uh Mexican blanket. Okay. Ooh. Well I'm 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 in Ooh. that chat with uh I'm in the chat where he posted the the oh the uh um uh-huh yep poll. that word yeah the that, that word yeah the poll, poll. yeah <laughs> I'm like god damn what's that word oh the poll why can I not find it I'm having issues I'm just gonna <laughs> go sitting here looking like Dr. Evil with street cred <laughs> Oh, now that's funny. I don't care who you are. Well, now I can't find this stupid chat either. What the hell? Oh. Somebody. I think, I think Cole just sent it. Yep, Cole just sent it. Okay. <clears throat> I was about to say, I'm sitting here looking. I'm like, I can't even find that chat anymore, and I don't know why. All right. Present. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, no, it hasn't popped up yet. Usually it pops up. I think Lauren just sent it to me, so I can throw oh, it up. Got it. Uh, Lauren, send it to me on Facebook instead of Instagram, would you? Instagram doesn't like the fact that I don't use the Instagram app on my computer, and I think it's so stupid. Can you see it now? Uh, there you go. Yep, there you are. The Mexican blanket. Dude, I love that thing. That thing's it awesome. Like pretty fucking tight. I like that he did a different style of the Mexican blanket, not the same one that everyone else does. Yeah. I like I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's pretty it's pretty subtle too. I, I, I dig it. Almost looks like a sunset. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, I like it. Hey, Dr. Drew, do appreciate it. <laughs> like trying not to be nosy, but. Oh, kids. Kid, look, I love how every kid does the same thing because that's the same shit Oliver does. Like, yeah, my other one did it last time. He's standing right here. <laughs> she, what you doing in there, Dad? Oh, so yeah. Um, yeah. He will be sending me that knife in the next week, and we'll be giving it away. Oh, hell yeah. That's cool as hell. For the Slavic bitch. Exactly, Falk. I told him not to come in here. <laughs> See, that's why I like being out here in my cold garage. It's because Oliver and Alyssa don't like the cold. So I just sit out here in the cold by myself because nobody wants to come out here. Normally, he wouldn't bother. My wife is over there. So he's going <laughs> to ask her 10 questions, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know when Brian asked my package arrived yet. But yes, Brian, it did. I got it today. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Is Mexican blanket hard to find? Uh, I don't think it's as hard to find as it used to be, Chris, because literally everybody's been doing Mexican blanket lately. Like I've seen it so many places now. So you should probably look. Check out the. Uh, well, I mean, you know where to check out. I don't know why I'm even telling you, Chris. Never mind. Go find some. Also, did you sharpen my knife yet? I don't scare easy. I'm a vagabond. 
Look, Pacific slept in some sketchy train stations, all right? He's fine. He's not scared. What's up, Kathleen? So, in addition to, like, giveaways and stuff, um, we work with a few small makers. um, Like, Gorknot makes... uh, Basically, he makes little little beads. I'm not really a bead guy, so I can't really tell you a whole lot about, you know. But, uh, yeah, he does little small runs uh, exclusively for the chat. You know, so he just released a bunch of uh, little brass cheese beads the other day that were only available for the Legion. You know, oh, so yeah. stuff like that going on. I miss those. Did you? Yeah, Dude, they were gone in like I don't know, fifteen. I was say, I was say yeah, it was probably probably t- under twenty minutes for sure. Like yeah, I mean once, every, means... once everyone started getting the updates. Yeah, yeah. So it was pretty much if you weren't if you weren't there, they were they were gone. Um, I had a chance. I I passed it on, let somebody else get mine. But you know, I'm not really a bead guy, so it wasn't no sweat off my back. You know what I mean? For for certain knives I am, um, but overall not much. I'll use them for anything else but a bead, like on a knife. Like I'll use them for zipper pulls. I'll use them for, yeah, you know, cookies. like yeah, the cook, yeah, cookies. I'll use them for like a bead on a worry stone, something like that. But like on a knife, nah. I think I got brass cheese. Tell me more. You missed them, Chris. Sorry. I got like this one. A little tiger head hell yeah um obviously the uh and it's not it's not a bead but a little lanyard on chris reeves and then uh i got this which is actually anodized by dopey i forgot i do have something anodized by dopey yeah that's it for beads though i don't don't think i have anything else yeah, that's all I got. Exactly, Dr. Drew, dude. Hey, what's up, Neil McKenzie? <laughs> what? All right, fellas, I gotta get off here. Bye, Ghosty. I will, uh, I'll be in the chats, but my wife's gonna call, so. All right, man. All right, later. Later. Bye. Oh, man. Yeah, so, Chris, you missed them, so they were, uh, brass beads that he drilled a bunch of holes in and basically made it look like cheese. It was pretty impressive how like good they look they look real good. Yeah, I'm trying to see. I don't think he posted them on Instagram. No, I just looked. Yeah, I know he has some of the micarta ones. Yeah, he's got the ones that legitimately look like a piece of cheese. Oh, they're so cool. I like I said, I'm not a bead guy, but I want one. Well, Chris Early's a Packers fan, so he enjoys cheese-themed things. Oh, so he definitely does need one. Yeah. Yeah, the the beat he has is from a, a guy. He used to go, make stuff under the name Rat Bastard, and they're actually, like, pieces of, like, brass cheese. Hmm. You come in and steal my street credits. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so like I said, me, Lauren, Michael, um, ghost, basically everyone, but Carly and Falk are in the, are in the Legion and, uh, you know, we, uh, we love it. We've been having a good time. I mean, clearly like every time one of us gets added, we tell somebody else and then they get added and they tell somebody else and then they get added. And that's, I mean, that's, that's the idea. I mean, we want to have a bunch of cool people in there. Um, yep. You know, eventually we're going to outgrow Instagram. I mean, I think there is a, yeah. a cap, you know, like I said, we're, we're pretty close to a hundred. I mean, we're, I think we're right at 80 right now and it's been, you know, five members a day, maybe 10 depending. So we will eventually, move somewhere else or uh you know expand um i think we're at this point looking at discord <laughs> the good, uh, I, I was gonna say you guys should definitely get in on discord just because there's not 
there's not as much supervision that happens right. in Discord. So and you know that's so that's been kind of a a learning experience trying to check you know check that out. I'm I'm in Discords, but I don't run anything on Discord. Um, it's not as hard as people make it out to be. Um. Obviously, we got the crispy donut Discord and all that kind of stuff. So, and I mean, I've been using Discord for gaming for so long that you know. Which I mean, in reality, it's it's one of the best avenues, in my opinion. Um, you know, because we have different groups of of members. I mean, we have makers, yeah. we have YouTubers, we have influencers. You know, there's a lot of people into a lot of things, and you know, with Discord, we can make all these little. You can make a channel for makers. You can make a channel for, you know, you drop in the YouTube links. You can make a channel for drop notifications. And- right. So here's here's a channel for beads. Here's a channel for knives. Here's one for Nux. You know, small makers corner, you know, have. And, and I mean, you can even have live chat. So, like, instead of going live, you can just get on, like, a live with just the members of the Legion. So. Right. Now, um. Can you do video chats on there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I wasn't sure. I know you can do audio and text chats, but I'm I'm pretty sure they I'm pretty sure it's there's a video chat. Don't quote me on it, but I know there's the voice chats and stuff like that. So I mean, um... as, uh, broke as if you're still in here, can you video chat? Hold on a second. Holding, holding, holding. I'm just a goonicorn. <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to go check right now. Discord. Pizza needs a photo. He does need a photo. <laughs> Dad? Mom? So, there's, there's music going. We talk about not hear anything. You don't hear any music? Mm-hmm. I hear it. Does nobody else hear it? It's really faint, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm having Well, some... I, I try not to have it so loud that uh, like it blows everybody out. It's not waiting music. My bad. I'm sorry. Jeez. I guess I could turn it up a little bit. Pacific Vagabond says, yes, you can video chat on Discord. There you go. Um, I, I went to look and then got sucked into something else. So, you know, we're we're exploring avenues of, you know, whether or not we want to do like a Patreon as well to help fund, you know, small projects, you know, exclusive projects, stuff like that. You know, um, and maybe make the Discord available to Patreon members, you know, stuff like that. We're just tossing ideas around, trying to figure this all out. We're all kind of new. Well, and um, so we've been using Patreon for about, I don't even know how long now. But honestly, like, I didn't know that they had, like, the chat capability and stuff like that. Like, it's been kind of nice because you can kind of definitely put out daily daily content without having to do like a crazy amount of stuff like they make it fairly easy to post so everybody can see and you know like right now there's not a lot of people in there outside of like the gear goons people so but you and uh you and pizza are holding it down and i know digi's in there holding it down is digi uh, in there now? D- digi's in there now uh david hurst is in there um you know, you keep saying this guy's name, and I have no idea who that is. Who, David? David. <laughs> he's a um, he he's a Facebook guy. He's a big supporter. Oh. He's you know he's I yeah. don't know if I don't know if he gets on the YouTube's very rarely, but I know anytime I post on Facebook, he pops around. So we can do VR knife meetups. It's not a bad idea. 
the Discord for Legion is coming. Yeah, so there will there will definitely be a Discord. You know, we're uh, like I said, we're still trying to figure out how we want to do that, yeah. um, and whether it's going to be exclusive to to patrons or not. Um, but it will be, it will be there. Well, and see, you can have public um, areas, and then you could have Patreon only areas in the Discord. So there, fair. there's that ability too. So. Yeah, so that's always uh, that's always a possibility as well. Oh, oh what's man. new for the goons? Oh man, we got so much stuff. Um, I had my patch drop over the weekend. Um, there's like six patches left on the website for those. Yeah, that's a good um, one. The there's one of the gear goons uh channel patches left, and then there is yeah, that one right there, and then there is three of the leather sets left on there. Hey, there's David. What's up? Speak of the devil, there he is. What's up, Kyle? What's up, Kyle? I just like I just like driving this thing into my desk. I don't know why. <laughs> when are you coming to Nashville, Zach? Um, possibly soon. There are there are plans. There are plans. Many many plans. Um, but on top of the patches, um, pull it up real quick. Actually, because it's just easier for me to pull it up. Low rent. Love that he calls him low rent. It makes me laugh every time. That is pretty funny. Uh, we have these bad boys are gonna go live on Saturday. If you're in the Patreon, they're the first one is available there right now. Um, Patreons get a discount on this bad boy, but this thing is hot. And here's the glow picture of it. Uh, he killed it with the glow on this wallet. It's so dope. Uh, oh, I guess it would help if I actually showed you guys, huh? <laughs> I hate that. I hate that they changed that. It used to automatically pop up, and now it doesn't anymore. Hey, have a good one, Ryan. That thing's sick. Yeah. So the 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 very first one is available on. Uh, Patreon right now for the patrons. Um, here's the glow, and I'm going to talk about everything I just talked about all over again. The glow is dope. He crushed this wallet. It's so cool. But yeah, so double stamped. It's got uh, it's got my stamp right here and Michael's stamp right there, and Would look that would look amazing in better colors. Okay, Cole. Okay. <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, but yeah, those are gonna drop to the public on Saturday. Um, let's see here. Is Michael making those wallets? Those <laughs> old bed sheets. He might be. He might be. Um, the fuck you pay me V ones are almost sold out so i love this one i'm getting ready to order um i'm getting ready to order the v2 here soon um gonna be ordering a couple patches in this run so the v2 of the fuck you pay me's will be in there and they're so dope like i said we got one of the channel patch left and we got three of these sets left so and this will be the only set. Once these three are sold out, these will be the only ones that'll have the glow in the dark border thread. So, all the other ones will have green. Uh, we just want to do something special for the first round of them. But yeah. Other than that, we got a lot of stuff coming. I know. Uh, live from the treadmill. <laughs> That's what's up, David. 
Uh, I know Ghost has got the materials coming for his uh, his custom pry bars. Um, so those will, those will be up once he gets uh, once he gets them all made up. Uh, we have swag packs coming um, from Mr. Pizza Operator. Yep. And uh, I just ordered some stuff to go in those as well. So they're going to be chock full of some uh, Gear Goons goodies. Yeah, sure. I should have those out to you by next week. Word. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit for the other stuff to get here, so no rush. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. but yeah, I know uh, Carly Carly's got her tactical beignet stickers up for sale. I think they're three bucks a piece. Um, and I'm trying to think what you should do a run of fuck you, patch it. Huh? <laughs> uh, Joe thinks that I you am? should do a run of. <laughs> Fuck you, pay me? <clears throat> so that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 is a thing. That that that's that's a thing. Um. If he's not sending out pizza hot pockets, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Paul, don't talk about me like that. Oh, shock! Oh. Here you go, Joe. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, you should check it out. I kind of want to show them what's going to be partially. Yeah, you sh- you sure can. I think I'm going to. So it's just a little little teaser. It's not everything that's going to be in there. But try and get this to where I don't drop them everywhere. But. That's all you get. God, that green is so bright. It almost looks like it, it is. It so almost bright. looks like it's glowing. Like it's so it's, it's bright. The same color green as your logo. There's yeah. Green. See, they're so bright. What's up, Ginger Fisher? So, yeah, those will be coming next week. Um, Look, it's it's gonna be hard for me to give those up to you guys. Like the fact that I'm just not gonna have an entire pizza worth of pizza slices, uh, I can't promise anything. <laughs> just put Velcro on them and make a whole little pizza back here. <laughs> That'd be dope. I got a uh, oh sweet got... Jesus, Falk, sweet Jesus. Some of the. Some of the Cosmo and Wanda's left. A. So if anybody wants that's, any that's of these, a good, that's a good. That's a good color combo for sure. I uh, I feel like I feel like I need a white one because I have red and blue. I feel like I need the entire America set. I think I have. Yeah, I have one white one. Hey, there you go. Get me a full have. full America set one i kept because it was a misprint so the bottom of it actually is partially black interesting kind of kind of cool looking yeah i printed black ones right before and for whatever reason mm. I still had black plastic so. i got you like just enough so like the bottom of it like came out with that like little shade it's of like the lightest <laughs> yeah <laughs> Kyle and Terry are killing me. <laughs> oh man! But yeah, we um, we really didn't have a whole lot. Uh, I I I had planned on you guys last week, so like I I had a lot more. I had a lot more stuff in mind, but uh, yeah, it uh, today was today was the day and. 
you know. Just kind of. Pizza's the only brave enough one to come on here. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. I mean, none of the other guys besides uh, besides Rob have ever really live streamed. So yeah. You know. It's it's not hard. We would be gentle on you guys. I promise. I would. Uh, I I, I would ease it in. I promise. Hold on. Somebody just joined. Oh, it's the Goonicorn. What's yeah. up, everybody? What's up, man? Pop in, say hi. Just got off work. On my way to pick up the chitlins. The chitlins. Chitlins. Uh, the little taquitos. Uh, I love them, Brian. I've been sitting here playing with them this whole this whole life. <laughs> Did he ever say what it was? was? He said it was the Hades. I, I think the guy. I think whoever. Brian, who'd you get this from? Because I think they cut the flipper tab off it. I uh, matched the Hades coin. I know that's what we were talking about. There you go. There you go. Lauren. There you go. Oh, dude, I love that one. That clip point is so pointy. Like, it's just. Dude, I love like a, a Bowie style clip point. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chris. Have a good one, man. Later, Chris. Is it, uh, is it G10 so or. Is it? Uh, I think. I think he said it was Jade. I think he said it was JG then. Because hmm. he, he dyed it. So I know that he dyed it. Um, oh, okay. I like what do on that. Probably what, 14C? Uh, D2, actually. D2? Nice. Kyle said, wants to know if you had court today. He said, low rent wearing a collar. I always wear a collar for work. <laughs> comes off as soon as I get home. Then I put on my unicorn horn. <laughs> yeah. The bear and the corn has to dress up. Has to dre dress like an adult. Yeah. Oh yeah! Here you go, Lauren. Here's the dude. I love that. It's the. Ahab. I just wish it had a little bit more of a of a, a cutout for your finger. You what down I mean? here? I... Down here? Yeah, just I wish that I wish that just was a little bit, just a little bit more like the other one. Show you what I picked up today. It's uh, it's kind of nice because I don't know if you can see it. So it's got a, it's got a little bit of jimping right there too for your finger to kind of oh, okay. snatch on. Yeah, man, I'm so on one of those for, for a minute though. And this thing is just fucking nasty. It. Front front flipper karambit. I'm about to show you what I got today. That's what's up. All right, show me. I'll throw it up there for you. All right, one of these guys. <laughs> Hearst party bus. Hey, oh, we're partying in the Hearst today. Hey, Doctor Drew, dude. I used to have a Hearst. I used to, I used to drive a Hearst. Dude, that would be legit. Dude, that would be badass to have an old, an old Hearst. Mine was a 1986 Buick. Hey, that's what's up. Oh, you got some of the yeah. pizza ones. Yeah, yeah. nice. That's dope. We need to have some good Hanks made. Uh, I am a happy human. Hey, today's my birthday. Wish me a happy birthday, everyone. Hey, happy birthday, Lauren. Happy birthday. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. How old are you? 36. 36? Yeah. Get... Look, I... That's half of 70, 72. Right? That is. That is. No, it's not. Great, great math. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's up, one man? <clears throat> yeah, it's too much.
much to drink, apparently. 36 for the eighth time. <laughs> she getting, <laughs> she getting fucked up. She, hey, she's hey, hey, she's fucking She's fucking around and finding out. Yeah. Hey, what's fucked. up, One Moon? Thank you, guys. Have you ever had princess cake? Like a cake uh, decorated like a princess? Yeah, no. It's like a <laughs> it's like a cake, but it has like that green, like kind of marzipan, like fondant, and like a strawberry filling. That sounds way too fancy for me. Dude, it's so good. That sounds bougie as fuck. <laughs> I'm a bougie bitch. What can I say? I'm a princess. <clears throat> Kyle's killing me right now. Ghost is killing me. <laughs> I gotta go back and see what he's saying. I gotta figure out how to put my picture on here when I'm when I'm gone. Um. So you're on a computer, right? Yeah. Uh. So if you're in the main screen. Over your picture, there's three little dots. <laughs> Why is he rage quitting? Hey, birthday! It's my birthday, Ghost. You're not allowed to rage quit today. Oh, is it the audio avatar? Audio avatar. Yep, yep. Oh, okay, okay. I don't have a. I don't have my logo on here yet. Excuse me. Very long yeah, time. Yeah, the first the first time you left, Falk was like, "We need to get uh, we need to get pizza logo." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had to chase my kid out of here. Oh, I know the feeling. They're actually not being too bad right now. Like, I can hear them screaming in the living room right now, but I don't think you guys can. No, we yeah. can't. We need, we need to get uh, Lauren whatever headphones or microphone you use. I know. Some kind of noise, <laughs> like a child noise counseling software. <laughs> noise counseling? Yeah, we, you, your kids need, need some counseling. counseling. Yeah. Your kids need some counseling. <laughs> I need some counseling. I got, I got PTSD. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, uh, everyone talks about don't mess up your kids, but what about the parents? I know, dude. <laughs> Pizza has muzzles and cages, good man. <laughs> it's in the affiliate link to Lauren. Please. <laughs> Lauren's kids legitimately need muzzles and cages. <laughs> yeah. Electrified cages. Like a like the Jurassic Park cage, like in the beginning of, oh, like, yeah. of Jurassic Park. That's the kind of cage they need. Get them get them some collars so every time they yell it zaps them a little bit. Like just <laughs> oh God, bless it. No, and them it would just make them matter. They just start screaming louder. They turn like Super Saiyan or something. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be all bad. Falk, you really have been drinking, haven't you? Who's Jeff Gold look? Jeff Gold Bloom. <laughs> Gold look. You ever see Lauren's his joke? kids are like the first. Are the first ones going to be smuggled over the border out of the U.S.? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. They'll fight your kneecaps. They'll, they'll, they'll bring them back. <laughs> Let's bring them back. Like, no, nah, we don't. We don't want these kids over here. And you want a war to end? Send them over there. They'll uh, figure it out. They're they're too look the they're, they're too feral for the cartels. The cartels don't want them bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Uh, Speaking of which, doesn't that Civil War movie does that come out? This come out in a couple days, doesn't it? Is it a couple of days or at the end of the month? I thought it was the twelfth. No, the twelfth I think is the Fallout show, which I'm so no. For. I haven't seen anything else about the Fallout show. I swear. Uh, maybe they come out like the day. Maybe it's the eleventh that it, the Fallout show, and then the twelfth comes out the Civil War. Ooh, there's a midnight showing at our at our theater on the 11th. Mm. I kind of want to go see it in theaters. I'm not gonna lie. 
Yeah, it would be fun. That'd be I a gotta, good theater movie. Yeah, I gotta wear my. I gotta red. I gotta get some red sunglasses to wear to the movie, like Matt Damon. Those ones, those those ones from Thirteen Systems. Uh, I don't trust your popcorn bucket, Kyle. Also, that would mean you would have to leave the house. So you know, it was a great Matt Damon movie, Elysium. Uh oh, it's where he had that that thing built into his back. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty dope. And then the dude from uh from uh District Nine, which is also an amazing yeah. movie. Yeah. Aren't they coming out with another District Nine? I doubt it. I thought they were not the, is that the that. aliens in the ghetto, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. The one that was supposed to be the Halo movie, but then yeah. they backed out. Yeah. I feel like it was better than the Halo movie would have been. Uh, thanks, Falk. I, I'm sad that that needs to be stated. Um, what does nobody think I leave the house? <laughs> That's just what I was told. I was told from a credible source. He literally I mean, left the house to meet you and have lunch. Well, we didn't have lunch. We had coffee, but... So. All right, they ain't I mean, we were hanging out at a knife show and he wouldn't show up. So. That's true. <laughs> it was like, what, like 10 minutes from his house? Yeah. Oh, it was uh, J- 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 Joe said alien ghetto bugs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I loved his his character in uh in in Elysium though. Yeah, yeah, that was so good. He he he's an awesome he's an awesome actor in like a lot of movies. Dude, like Chappie, that was freaking hilarious. Yeah, Ch- Chappie was funny as fuck. <laughs> that was a great movie too. I don't think I've seen that movie that he was bad in. Cause he was in uh, the remake of the A Team too, wasn't he? Was he? I think he was the crazy one, wasn't he? Oh no, yeah. I forgot about Yeah, that. he was he was the fucking the one that kept he would shock himself with a car battery and shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I totally <laughs> forgot about that. That's hilarious. I think I've I've only seen that movie like one time. So. Bro, I liked that movie. I know it got a lot of hate, but I thought it was a good movie. I love yeah. Liam Neeson, so like I mean it was entertaining for sure. Lee, Liam Liam Neeson playing the main character was pretty fucking dope. He played Murdoch. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Yeah. That's right. I want the. I still want that van. Kyle said that's like twenty five minutes away. To be fair, <laughs> the knife show. Oh, twenty five minutes. I might have yeah. to stop for a pee break. I mean, I drove like three hours. <laughs> I drove. I drove like fifteen minutes. <laughs> It's it's a fun show. It's a good little show. I enjoy it. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, I got to meet some cool people. I got to meet Zach, Zach, uh, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Trying to. Um, yeah, I always get thrown off on that. I'm just like, I don't even. Yeah, know. I got to meet the Earlies. Got to meet yep. uh, Sean and Bernstein. Saul. Yeah, yeah. Sean Bernstein is cool. I don't know, but they probably had a cookie waiting for you, Kyle. Yeah, I do want a cookie. I'd be the little spoon for Liam Neeson. Same. Same. <laughs> I randomly watched Taken a couple days ago, and I'm like, damn, I forgot how good that movie is. Like, he's so just cool and calm in that movie that, like, it's like, damn, it's just, it reminds me of a character that um, uh, Denzel Washington would play, too. Yeah. Like, no, I love. a while since I've seen that. I love Denzel. I watched Man on Fire yesterday, and I fucking oh, that, that's, that's my favorite. Everyone movie. always says Training Day. Nah, bro. Man on Fire dude, is the most is gangster. Such like, a good movie, dude. That is the most gangster movie that he's in. Like so good. <laughs> I gotta watch that. Man. Every time I talk to you guys, I talk about some good movies, and I need to go. <laughs> I need to start writing this down. Oh, I want. I, 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 I watched uh, so we can go back to the previous episodes and listen to them. Yeah. <laughs> I watched um uh 13 hours last night cuz I I've been trying to get Ghost to watch it for weeks now and he won't watch it and I'm like, "Bro, I fucking love that movie so much." 
I don't even know what movie that is. I still haven't it, seen it, dude. Bro, you guys are fucking. That's the, um, I didn't know how I felt. I'm it's like, not the one where the dude gets his arm crushed, right? No, it's the uh, the Benghazi movie. It's got oh, like okay. uh, uh, John Krasinski in it, and uh, the dude that plays Master Chief in the Halo show is in it. Um, dude, he played the he played a leprechaun in uh, in a in the movie called a show called American God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, Same dude. He was in uh he was in Den of Thieves too. He was a badass in Den of Thieves. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I thought that was that rock climbing movie. All right. No, anyway. it's a That's what I thought too. The one where he gets his arms his yeah, arm what, crossed. What's that Dude, one? Kyle. Uh called something hours. Yeah, it, it well, yeah, it's like a it's like 120 hours or 127 hours or something like that. Uh, mm, okay. But uh yeah, so it's funny because the dude that plays um Oh, you know what? Shit. I have seen in, that movie. In the office. Uh, oh, man. What the fuck? That was a great uh, movie. Now, I'm, now it's all... The guy that plays uh, Roy, Pam's first boyfriend, he's in it, and so is John Krasinski. And I'm like, dude, yeah. I said, all they needed was Dwight, and it would have been fucking <laughs> stacked. Hey, yeah, what's that up, Sharif? Hello, oh, Sharif. Dude, hey, the, thanks, Loco. Like, get like anxiety you're like what would i do what would i do and that's bro like, for real like oh, it's it, yeah, that it's movie awesome. goes from oh. zero to a hundred so fast dude, i love those kind of movies you're just like, yeah. ah! and ghost has been talking about um american sniper so much i got on uh i got on um what's up justin and what got on and watched shooter with marky mark dude i forgot oh, how good yeah. that movie was dude <laughs> I was like, fuck, I remember how good this movie is. All right, I got to go pick up my chitlins. All right, get out of here. Yeah, we've been on for an hour, but yeah, I just, I don't know why I just happened to think of that fucking, uh, that Civil War movie, and I'm like, fuck, that comes out soon. Dude, oh, yes. What's up, Justin Ohio? What's up, hey, man? Just in time for the real one. Yeah, right. We got to, we're going to be sitting there with a notebook, taking notes like, "Mm -hmm." (laughs) Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ghost is going to use it as a man. You, th- you think it's weird if you go dressed in full tack gear? <laughs> <laughs> they might not appreciate that. <laughs> I think that. I think that purple hair dude screwed that one up. Uh, the dude who wrote the book shooter was based on the group. Yeah, dude. He, uh, yeah, the book is fucking great. I just, yeah. man, I forgot how damn good the. Uh, the movie was like uh so, danny danny glover was fucking cold-blooded in that fucking shooter movie yeah all right later boy i keep talking forever i know i can see here. i could i could honestly talk three hours about movies <laughs> I, know. I get so excited yeah <laughs> <laughs> later guys look at your kids all right i got socks on that's right justin keep them socks on it's the only way it's the only way Oh man, um, yeah, that yeah, shooter was a good one. Fucking, I, like I said, I could sit here and talk about movies all fucking day. You know, a movie I've been uh, wanting to rewatch is uh, Three Ten to Yuma. You remember that movie? Oh man, I haven't watched that. I don't think I've watched that movie since like it came out. But I remember it was good as shit. I saw it on one of the like the live app or the uh, free apps the other day. I'm like, man, I need to sit down and watch that. I watched uh, Inside Man this morning with That's with Di- with Denza and like I, I I haven't watched that movie probably since it came out and like I don't know why it popped up on like the recommended or whatever, but I was like, man, that's a good ass movie too. <laughs> the ending of that movie is fucking wild. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Argo was good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Argo was good. It, it is a slow burn, but it was a good movie. Um, Sharif, man, I need to I need to get those red sunglasses for the Civil War movie. I think I'm pretty sure Sharif bought a pair. I think he's the only person I know that actually got a pair, but they're still up on their site, and I kind of want a pair. <laughs> Uh, I think the one I'm thinking of, I think it, it comes with a patch of, uh, <laughs> yes, you do. I just want to be Fat Damon. 13 Systems, that's who it was. I was just about to say, damn it, I can't think of what the hell the name of the brand is called now. 
Ooh, did you see what uh, Dickinson just posted in the uh, Legion chat? Oh no, what did he post? Ooh, some nice looking stuff on there. Fat Damon, I need to look like Fat Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon in the um, uh, in the trailer looks like um, uh, Jack Black in um, Tropic Thunder. Oh yeah, and like it, it fucked me up, man. When I first saw the trailer, I'm like, "That's Matt Damon. He looks like he looks like Jack Black." He's just a dude you know, playing a dude dressed like another dude. That movie is so good. It really is. Like, dude, like that's what the one movie, like I know he's got a lot of good movies, but Tom Cruise, that's the best. Oh, his, that's the best. Yeah. That, that like that fucking rant where he's, yeah, dude, that's the best Tom Cruise role ever. Other than like Top Gun. But yeah, yeah that's, dude, that's one of those movies they couldn't make today. Oh God! No, Jesus, way. no, fuck! Oh shit! No, nah, no, nah, not happening today. Uh, same with uh, one I talk about all the time with uh, like all like Lauren and them is uh, the Ringer with Johnny oh, Knoxville. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't. They could. Bro, do. they would never get the okay for that movie today. Never. <laughs> Jeffy, Jeffy Dama. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah, would I never. I don't know what to think about the Goonies too, PNW. Hey, I appreciate you, Ryan. I'm the dude playing a dude. Hey, the dude. God damn it! I just... <laughs> um, yeah, I. I want it to be good, and the problem is, is those movies always go only two ways: either great, or they are an utter disappointment. Yeah, and it's there's usually, there's there's no in between. There's literally no in between. I would say and, the only exception to that was the, not the brand new one, but the one they came out before the Ghostbuster movie. Oh, uh, the Afterlife, Afterlife. The most yeah, I thought that was like okay. It was it was solid. I didn't think it was great, but I didn't think it was bad. I liked it better than the one with Melissa McCarthy and all them. Oh, that one sucked. Yeah. I and like you know and like those movies everyone's always like oh um you know they're just a fan service movie and I'm like but that's what we want as fans like mm. isn't isn't that what you want you want them to put everything you want into a movie right like all the little easter eggs of Egon throughout that movie was so perfect and so good yeah it was such a good movie yeah I know I've, I've I've heard mixed reviews about the most recent one. Ghost said he loved it, and I honestly like I don't care how bad it is. It's better than the all girl one because the problem is not that it was all women. The problem was the writing was fucking awful. It was horrible. It was terrible. Awful. An all female cast remake. It was originally all male. <laughs> I've seen that going wrong. Exactly. Uh, yeah, Ghost said he loved the new one, which I, I trust Ghost. My kids are obsessed with Ghostbusters. I mean, like, we get in the car oh, and then we get the Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters song. Like, yeah. so we are gonna go see it. It's just a matter yeah. of when. That and, uh, the new Godzilla. They want to see the new Godzilla. Um, yeah, we, me and Oliver were just talking about that. He goes, you see new Godzilla movie? I'm like, yeah, I did. Come on, bro. Say my first rodeo. What's <laughs> up, Ryan? Did you yeah. see the Godzilla vs. Kong? Uh, uh, yes. I, I've seen up to Godzilla vs. Kong. I haven't watched... What's the show? The show that's on Apple TV. Oh, uh, um, Monarch. Delaney. Yeah, Monarch. Haven't watched Monarch. I hear it's good, though. Yeah, I've I seen just... some clips of it, and it looks really good. Afterlife was better, but Frozen Empire is worth seeing. Yeah, I, I just... I hope that they keep doing the Ghostbuster movies... And like you know, they they're I they're just gonna eventually phase out all the older guys and bring in this new, which I think is the only way to keep it going. Right. Everyone knows women can't ghost bust. That's not it. It's uh, it's just the writing was 
god awful, dude. That movie was what honestly a what a name. It, Organic it, snout juice. Snout juice. I love yeah, it. I <laughs> that's like ESP. Um yeah, I don't know. I just the writing on that movie overall was horrendous. And they but they had a great cast. That's what was the worst part was. It wasn't like they tried to do it with a cast of awful actresses. Right. Like, they're all legitimately funny. It had but, promise, but they just shit the bed. To be yeah. honest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's why I'm we can't have nice things. Uh, yeah, that's why we can't have nice things, Kyle. But yeah, so <laughs> I'm excited for the Civil War movie. I was trying not to get hyped about it because I can't stand most of A24, the production house, their movies, because mm -hmm. they're always like the woke horror movies and shit like that. And it's like, they're always stupid. So I I don't have a lot of faith in it, but I like the premise of it. Although I do like seeing women getting covered in ectoplasm. Yes. I think he uh, downloaded the wrong Ghostbuster movie. No, that's the right one. Is it the right one? Okay. No, that's the right one. That's the only one worth watching multiple times. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, A24 is just, I don't know, like their, their movies are, they're usually more artsy and stuff, and I'm hoping that's not the case for this one because I feel like you can't make an artsy Civil War movie. Like, mm hmm it needs to be kind of gritty, kind of, for lack of a better term, fucked up. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what, I mean, the Civil War was fucked up. Yeah. You know? So I feel like if you're going to have a modern one, you got to have a, it's got to be a pretty fucked up story. So we'll see. Christ, Christ Kyle. <laughs> Damn it, Terry. So the Melissa McCarthy Ghostbusters was trash and everyone involved should be ashamed. <laughs> He's not wrong. No, it was, dude. It was, it was, it was awful, dude. It was just, ugh. like I said, the writing, the writing was just bad. Like, the, it's like they they tried to do the movie strictly based off of the IP, mm -hmm. and it's like you can't, you can't do that. Like it was something like Ghostbusters. Like you can't. What shit are we talking today? <laughs> Hi, pizza. Carly says. Hi, Carly. Even I didn't like that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and like I said, it had nothing to do with the women. It had everything to do with, uh... you know, Terry. I say the same thing. I know a lot of people hate it, but it was honestly better. I had the lowest of expectations for that movie. I haven't made myself watch it yet. It's the like. <laughs> The only part of it I didn't like, and it was honestly the part that they probably like did mostly on purpose, was just how cartoony they had Conor McGregor act. Like, they made Conor McGregor such a cartoon character. He was funny, and he's wild, but it's just, I think they had him go a little too far over the top. And that's the only, honestly, the only downside I had to the whole movie. I liked the new taking on it. I love the original. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Roadhouse was a staple in my childhood. <laughs> the only part I didn't like was Connor was cast at all. I get why they did because like the, the character, the character's backstory is he's a UFC fighter or a former UFC fighter. So I get why they, why they cast Connor, but at the same time, they just, I'm afraid that was just how much blow he had. To. That's a hundred percent true, dog. dude. If you, when you watch that movie, pizza, you'll understand. There's no way that dude wasn't just blown out of his brains. Like, well, did you see dude. that that interview with him and Gyllenhaal, and he's like having all the twitches and shit? Oh yeah. Like, I don't know. Everybody's like super worried about. It. I was like, the dude gets hit in the fucking head for a living. You know, there's bound to be something wrong with him you know would have been better with nate diaz Ooh, that would have been dope brian i think nate diaz i think the diaz brothers have a little too much cte to be actors <laughs> like kurt cobain blown out of his mind yes 
Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it was uh, it was surprisingly good. Uh, like I said, I went in with zero expectations. As long as you go in with zero expectations, uh, would need subtitles for Nate. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, that dude is a walking CTE case. If CTE was a person, it would be Nate Diaz. I've heard some of his interviews, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> what? What? I didn't see who typed that, but I knew that was Kyle's comic book. <laughs> I would like Chael saying, uh, you know what? Chael would have been good. I think Chael could have done it. He's got that Miami vibe to him. I think he could have fit in the movie, honestly. He's got that cockiness about him. Yeah, they just, they made Conor McGregor such a fucking weird character, though. It's just, Oh, all right. Uh, anything else you want to touch on, Pizza? I mean, I know we've been talking for a while. No, I mean, um, just back to the to the Legion. Um, yeah, if anybody wants in, man, just hit one of us up. There's uh, myself, Loco, uh, Black Sparrow, uh, Pacific Vagabond, who's who was in the chat a little while ago, um, Ryan Die. Rich Kazner, there's a few of us. Um, yeah, and we'll talk about it. And, you know, if you're legit, we'll pretty much let you in. Yeah. So, but basically, basically the, the, the vetting process is to keep bots out. And yeah. And I mean, it, we haven't really run into it yet, but, you know, there are certain people in the, in the community that tend yeah. to find things with them, you know, drama and whatnot, and those kind yeah. of people we try and keep out, but yeah, they haven't exactly. had any issues yet. So, wait, who just joined? Uh, oh, you I'm back. 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 Y'all miss me? Yes. Uh, Kyle said pizza has a posse. <laughs> I let you in, Doki. Uh, but Kyle, I don't know. That's why I haven't been invited. <laughs> Doctor Doctor Druju likes to get chats shut down. That's why he wasn't invited. <laughs> yeah, it's been mostly um, people being suggested, or you know, people hearing about it and just messaging us. Yeah, baby. Um. You know, there are a couple people I've actually reached yeah. out to, but more more of it is just yeah, word of mouth. Well, and the only reason I found Loco, well, Moon basically okay. mostly was because you went live with him and it told me you were live with him. Yeah, we didn't go to Grandma's. Oh yeah, and, I, and I'm like, I, I'm like, I know the Loco EDC name. I just didn't know. I, I didn't know Rob at that point, so I was like, oh shit. Yeah, Rob's a good guy. And then I thought it was something that had been around for a while, and I was real mad at everybody, and I was going to rage quit um, until I realized it had only been around like a week at that point. So, well, he had his, he had it going a little bit before I joined. Yeah, and uh, you know, he brought me on as as the first admin, and uh, we just started downhill rolling. You know, picking up people and yeah. spreading the word, and it's just been it's been going great. Um, we're about to add two more admins here shortly because it's just, it's getting big. It's getting chaotic. Yeah. The chat, I mean, at some points is, is like MC's chat. It's just flying, you know? Yeah. yeah uh, so many I, I, I try to keep track of it most days and it's like, you know, there's, I can't, I can't keep track of it half the time. Like when I when I am in there, like I usually stick around for a little bit and like chat with everybody. But yeah, it's just it's a very uh, it's a very quick moving chat. That's for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, if you uh, if you pop out of there for a couple hours and come back, it's like you got to scroll to get yeah, to where you were at. You know, even uh, especially even in the, the night. Yeah, I would say like the evening to the middle of the night. 
is like the prime time for that. Like during the day, it's so quiet in there, but then like you go in there in the evening or like the middle of the night, and it's just there's so many people in there because everybody's on the night, the night schedule. Yeah, and I know like when when we first got going, we were losing people because you know their phones would just go ding 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 all yeah. all day long. You know, so if you're in the chat and you're getting sick of it, you know, we post a little disclaimer here and there. Um, you can mute the chat. Yeah, I know? love that so that, it's so funny. It is funny. That was uh Rich Kasner wrote that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's basically, you know, that way you can just pop on when you want, you know, not annoy everybody in the vicinity yeah. with your phone constantly going off. But yeah, yeah you're literally good. losing people because they're like, yeah. man, this sucks. Trust me, the gear, the gear being fat is bad. Yeah, I always have my phone muted, like uh, on silent anyway, so I just feel the... And all, also, the also, if you see Lauren post anything, typically you can't open it in public. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to be good in the, in the, in the leaving chat. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we really... We don't have many rules. Um, we're cool. You can post pews. You can post things you're working on, whatever. Post a link to your page. Post a link to your YouTube. It's all good. Um, you know, we just try and try and keep the politics down and the you know religion and all that. You know, like this is it's an EDC group. I mean, we, yeah. don't, we don't really give a shit about that. Dude, I'm yeah. I'm in a I'm in a uh, I'm in a patch group, and it's for like the bougie tactical patches. And like, I posted a link to my big cartel on there, and they they deleted it because it says you can't self promote. I'm like, well, then what the fuck is the point? Oh yeah, we encourage it. I you know I want to see how are you gonna have a how are you gonna have a patch sale group, but I can't post my patches for sale. Right. Like, what the fuck? If if you're making stuff, if you're selling stuff, I want to see it. You know, this yeah. is these are things I would rather have. You know, it's a blade. People buy things from another maker in the chat than to buy something from China yeah, yeah. from Amazon or Etsy, you know? So if you're in there and you want, you know, to feature your stuff, post it. You know, or if you don't feel comfortable, reach out to one of us. We'll post. Yeah. What's up, Wade? It's Wade's in there too. Well, Kyle, when I say bougie tactical patches, I mean like, the like forward observation gear, privateers, uh, wasteland kooks, um, all those fucking places. Those are definitely all words. Yep. <laughs> Lots of words. Obviously, you guys don't collect these companies, but I do, so I'm in a lot of the groups. But this this oh, is the only awesome. patch I have right now. There's no. That's the only that's patch you own. Uh, I, I just gave away a bunch of them. Uh, I might be lying. Hold on. I got this. <laughs> He's got a Black Star one. All right. Black Star. <laughs> uh, I got this little thing from uh, Zero Bytes. Oh, yeah. Zero should be one of those. Dude, those turned out so good. Um, And then... Oh, yeah, I got one of Bluminati's. Blue that's, yeah, dude. that's literally all the patches I own. Though. I don't do patches or stickers because I'm a full-grown adult. But you spend hundreds of dollars on knives that you don't use. Hey, hey, hey. Don't hey. I, I use mine. Just saying. I got my first snail trail on this thing. Hard to see. Bougie but. forever. I know. I was uh, looking at my Kaimano, and I'm starting to get some nice little trails on it. I'm like, ooh. Stop rubbing one out on it, and then you won't get so many trails. It's so hard. Have you seen it? If you, don't, if you don't have a patch wall, where do you put all of them? Um, I mean, you can. There's there's companies that make patch books, so it's just it's just loop on each page, so you could have a nice little book. Um, yeah, I need to do something. I don't. You do have something a patch like wall or a book either. I just have a box. Oh yeah, you're yeah. right, Terry. They are. My inbox is full of oh, Chinese patch makers and uh, so patch skinny knife makers. You know, 
premium <laughs> Damascus makers. Uh -huh. Yeah. Basically, if somebody sends me license like, plate, license plates, and car bumpers, make the yeah, best Damascus. They do. Unless I don't, unless I see like ten of you guys are following a knife maker or something along those lines, I'm not gonna accept it. Mm -hmm. You know what kills me is uh, you know, I'm I'm obviously I'm a man, and I what? Yeah, I can't right? say that nowadays. Um. But yeah, I'll always get the uh, the messages from the Chinese patch makers. And, Hello, dear. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Delete. Please go. Oh, away. I get uh, I get different kind of messages from uh, from those people. <laughs> and uh, Lauren just gets messages that wants to see his bobs and vagine. Yeah. Because they think his name. <laughs> He's a woman. <laughs> Down. That was so funny. I, I thought Lauren was a woman, a woman for like two months, and DG <laughs> was a guy. So many people. And so I don't many people. I found out, but I'm like, DG's a girl. She's like, yeah, I'm a girl. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> Fucking Drew. Uh, I remember Drew one time uh, when Hi, Faulkner buddy. was uh, the Faulknerator on YouTube. Still, I remember Drew messaged me in like the private chat. He goes, "Wait a minute, Faulknerator's a girl." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yep. Yep, grandma. People, people thought I was a girl. Apparently, that's because they're uneducated. Spelt different. Spelt well, me and you. Yeah. Built, built different. <laughs> oh, I'm built different, 100. percent Lauren is a woman. <laughs> and then he looks a lot like me. <laughs> so Renee looks a lot like me. <laughs> <laughs> Only for you, Dopey. Oh man. All right. Um, so closing out, uh, just wanted everybody to head over to the I still think Zach is. I, the world may never know, Jay. The world may never know. Um, you gotta uh, take a lick to get to the center of that sixty pop. Yeah, anytime, anytime. You let me know. Um, if anybody wants in to the Legion, message pizza. Message. I posted his Instagram like fifteen times. Thank you. Scroll up. It's not hard. Get on Instagram. Type in pizza operator. I'm yeah. I'm the only one. Yeah, not hard to find. <laughs> Lots of pizza. Only operator. Yep. The OG. Um, thank you, Carly. I was getting ready to uh, go through all those. Yeah. Uh, so the link tree in the description uh, will take you to uh, my Instagram, Lauren's, Michael's, Dopey's, Carly's, Falk's, everybody's Instagram. Um, it'll take you to the Patreon. It'll take you to uh, the Big Cartel. And yeah, it's uh, <laughs> yeah, Dr. Jude's HR Jr. <laughs> He's the full size HR, and you're the fun size HR. HR light. <laughs> um, but yeah, just follow the uh, follow the link tree. Uh, figure out where you want to go. Uh, we made it pretty easy to figure out. I promise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we got le about six, I think it's six or seven. Of the fuck you pay me patches, we got one gear goons and one, two, three. We have three sets of the uh, fight or flight leatherworks custom ranger eyes that he made. So almost like a cult, JK. JK. <laughs> uh, feel free to message PNW Vagabond EDC about membership as well. Um. Let's see here. Uh, wallets. Wallets will... They are up on the website if you guys want to check them out. Um, they will not drop to the public until Saturday. But Damn. if you are a Patreon member, you can get in on the first one that is up for sale on the Patreon at a discounted price. Yep. So... We will be starting uh, Patreon discount codes for the Big Cartel here soon. Oh, thank you, uh, PNW. Ah, PNW. All right, let me go through. I got a fuckload of pens from PNW, and we're gonna give them away on the channel, you know, randomly. 
but um he he sent so many badass ones like i think this one is my personal favorite just because it almost looks polynesian like it looks like the the mako hooks like <laughs> i like them but yeah he sent he sent a bunch these are red cedar um dude i can't see. wait to see what i got this one this one like we've decided that it looks like lord zed from power rangers mm -hmm. i see it or the or the pikachu tail or the harry potter you know whatever but I like that one. That one's dope. That one's lace wood. It's pretty dope. He carved that by hand. Yeah. Oh, dude. I'm telling you. Some of this stuff. I like this one. This one looks like the, uh, like the original sword from like Zelda. Like it's just I, got that like broadsword kind of shape. I wasn't seeing a sword there for a second. Yeah. See, like right. Like it's kind of mm, like yeah, broad okay. sword shaped. Yeah, that's what I don't know. That's the first thing I thought when I saw it. Uh, this one's pretty dope. He did two different stains. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, it's got a little 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 finger choil for whatever you want to do. I don't know. Just... Uh, let's see here. Here's another one. This one is red cedar. God, my garage smells amazing because of all this wood, but. It almost has like a scorpion tail to it. Hey, what's up, mechanical rabbit hole? And then last but not least, this one. This one, I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure out what it reminds me of. It's almost like it almost looks like it has a tail. Looks like an earthworm to me. <laughs> yeah, an earthworm. Damn it, yeah, it does. <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to be all sophisticated. Like, yeah, it's got a tail. He's like, yeah, it looks like a fucking worm. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to be giving those out um, randomly on the streams. So um, be on the lookout for that. Because if you guys don't know, he makes some of the coolest shit ever. Arthur Jim was a great game. Yes, it was, Kyle. What's a dick's count code? I hate it here. <laughs> All right, I, I I hate it here. I hate I hate everyone. Um, let me Bobby throw up the let me throw up the outro. Um, but yeah, hit up Pizza on Instagram. Hit up Pacific Pacific Vagabond EDC on Instagram. Um, I muted Lauren. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, if you can't find either of them, hit me up and I'll send you guys over to them. Yeah, Loco um, is always available too. Yeah, Loco EDC, you know, just reach out. If you guys don't remember anybody, hit me up. I'm pretty sure most of you guys follow me on Instagram. So, <laughs> um, if anything, I can send you over. I can link you up with Pizza or Loco or whoever the case may be. Whoever's available. Um, but yeah, love you guys. We'll see you guys Saturday night for the Looney Goons Live. Um, and yep, Vagabond hit a Vagab with Pacific Vagabond EDC, right? Or P and W Vagabond EDC. My bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so love you guys, and uh, we'll see you Saturday night.